Thanks for joining us here on Focus on Africa from BBC World News. More than 5,000 foreigners, mainly from Tanzania, have fled Mozambique. That's according to the Tanzanian authorities. They escaped after the country launched a crackdown on what it calls illegal immigrants living in the ruby mining town of Montepoise. The immigrants say the police have attacked them, destroyed their homes, and stolen their passports. The BBC's Samia Wami has been to the border between Tanzania and Mozambique to find out more. On the Tanzanian side of the border, there's a feeling of uncertainty. Dozens of elderly women and children have walked many kilometers to get to this immigration post where their documents are checked. Many of them speak of Mozambican police brutality. One woman told us how her friend was robbed and then raped by two police officers in front of her children. They told her, give us all the money you've got. But then she said, how can I give you money that I don't have? Then they threatened her, give us money or else we'll kill you. One of the police officers then said, let's not kill her, let's rape her. Not one police officer, but two of them. And she was pregnant, and her pregnancy was at an earlier stage than mine. Just across the border, the Mozambican authorities were not available to respond to these allegations. Most of these people have been here in Mozambique for at least 10 years. They built their businesses, got married and had children, but now they have to leave so suddenly that they could barely take anything with them. They are going back home and they're going to start from scratch. Many Tanzanians and other foreigners went to Mozambique to look for work in the mining areas, particularly in Montepoise. The town is believed to have 40% of the world's known deposits of rubies. But two weeks ago, the local authorities issued a five-day ultimatum for the migrants to vacate the area. The Tanzanian authorities say their Mozambican counterparts assured them the crackdown was not about prejudice against foreigners. The government says this Monte Press area where mining takes place has been invaded by many illegal workers. So as a way to start over, they have come up with this crackdown and whoever wants to go back to work there will have to process the proper documents first. In the meantime, the Tanzanian government has offered to temporarily host these returnees until they get back to their original towns here in Tanzania. Many have made calls to their relatives to ask for more help, but for most of them, the journey towards full recovery, both emotionally and economically, is going to be long. Sami Awami, BBC News, at the border of Tanzania and Mozambique. Well, the BBC has got a response from the Mozambican authorities. Now, Abdul Chuguro, the head of protection department in the northern Mozambican province of Cabo Delgado, describes the allegations of violence as unfounded. He said the only goods seized from Tanzanians were 22 vehicles because they all had forged or missing documents. As for the rape allegations, the official said there was one reported case which the health authorities found to be untrue.